Today we are officially going to take a look at the leaks for Suleiman the First and Honda Tadakatsu coming soon to Rise of Kingdoms. What's going on guys? Cheers! The one time I actually spilled it on myself, it's water and not gamer subs. Thank God. Anyway, before we get into the leaks, guys, obviously I am in a new location. This is my new apartment. It is mostly set up. I'm still waiting on some things to come in the mail. And obviously I have to, uh, set up some sort of set back here and I got to put my Omni arc. I, I don't know where that's going to go now because there's a door here. So I don't know where the, the light's going to go, but we'll figure it out. Back to the topic of Suleiman and Honda over here in rise of kingdoms. As you guys know, when the leaks first came out, I did post a leak in the form of a YouTube short. Once I realized that those leaks were inaccurate, I took the video down. Now I expected the commanders to be, uh, you know, released by now because we're in the middle at, at the time of recording this, we're in the middle of mightiest governor, we're in the, we're in the middle of the wheel of fortune. And this is the leadership cycle and I thought that these commanders would be out by now so I didn't make an updated video talking about these guys but they're not on the wheel they're not in mightiest governor so I'm assuming they're gonna be coming in the next cycle which makes them a little bit off anyway with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at what we are assuming to be the most accurate description for their skills now as always as a disclaimer these are leaks and they can change when or if the commanders even come into the game right we don't don't even know if these commanders are coming technically speaking right this is all speculation and as we saw with Pakal sometimes the skills are even unveiled by Lilith themselves and still changed before the commanders are put into the game so take all of this with a grain of salt I just want to go over these skills and give you guys my thoughts and opinions if you enjoy videos like this make sure you subscribe to the channel tons of you have been subbing lately so I really do appreciate it drop a thumbs up on the video and in the description I'm also gonna have a link to a second channel I'm probably to be posting content other than rise of kingdoms over there but that will also serve as a backup channel in case anything happens to this one you know if lilith basically uh sends me to youtube jail then i'll have a second backup channel so make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe over there and with all that out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at suleiman the first okay as you guys know this is a leadership commander this is the leadership cycle it's leadership conquering and attack so good stuff there we love the attack tree on rally commanders because it does make it a little bit harder to swarm them so that's really good let's take a look at these skills okay active skill rage requirement of a thousand it says it deals a direct damage to the target with a damage factor of 1300 and when the target has less than 50 percent rage so that's a requirement we've never seen before i don't think it decreases their defense and health by 30 percent each for two seconds very solid debuff sort of a short duration and a very specific requirement that is very odd of course in what instance would your skill especially in a rally scenario when would your skill go off after the opponents so you would in this instance want a slower skill cycle and i think just as a little bit of foreshadowing i think that's going to make honda an excellent primary commander for suleiman for that specific reason right you want the skill cycle to be where they're constantly going first so that way this debuff applies the downside being that this debuff is gonna take place when there's no skill damage happening so we'll, we'll get into that later let's take a look at the second skill it says troops led by this commander gain 15 percent increased attack and defense and damage taken from all sources is reduced by 10 percent outside of alliance territory so that's really nice especially in a rally you often are rallying flags and flags are in enemy territory which means it's outside of your territory which means that damage taken uh, is reduced by 10 percent so that's really incredible the attack buff here is a little bit underwhelming because you know kvk is typically Typically where you have the most important rallies and you already have a ton of attack there but with that being said it's still fine it's still great we get 30 percent of stats here the third skill is a passive skill that has a 10 percent chance of reducing the normal attack damage of the target's troops by 20 percent and their skill damage by 20 percent for three seconds when attacking cities or strongholds this has a five second cooldown so this is some pretty good stuff here okay you're taking less damage from normal attacks less damage from from skills as long as they launch a skill during this trigger you're also taking 10% less damage for being outside your territory you're reducing the enemy's uh, damage output by a decent amount here with Suleiman the first so that's excellent fourth skill says troops led by this commander deal 5% increased normal attack damage okay not too much there if at least two different unit types are present 
Troops also gain 50% increased skill damage for three seconds upon suffering skill damage. So that's an interesting, another interesting trigger there. So again, this is an instance where you're going to want the enemy to hit you with skill damage first before your skill cycle goes off because then your skill damage is elevated by an insane 50%. So that's really excellent there. Now for the expertise, it says when the commander has over 70% rage, normal attacks by troops led by this commander inflict additional skill damage to the target with a damage factor of 200, but grant at the target 50 extra rage so that's crazy now i don't know if this means when suleiman the first army has over 70 percent rage or if the target that you're hitting when they have over 70 percent rage your normal attacks are dealing 200 damage factor every single turn this will probably only occur two or three times every skill cycle but that's still a lot of additional damage factor which is nice however this is going to speed up the rage gain for the target there's been a lot of talk about rage in the community lately and it's i haven't kept up on everything so i don't know exactly how specifically this is going to affect for you know for example the rage cap that we have uh, discovered the community shout out to wick gaming has discovered recently so who knows if this extra damage factor is going to be worth having the target gain that extra rage i would assume that it would be right but uh, you know we'll just have to wait and see but that's the skill kit for suleiman the first comment down below what you think about this commander and we're going to go ahead and take a look next at honda tadakatsu honda is of course a leadership commander with the versatility and skill trees so versatility tree always not that exciting this commander has a really interesting primary skill 1350 rage requirement crazy high right typically we don't see commanders with high rage requirements being super super valuable however we'll have to see how this commander does perform it says deals direct damage to up to three enemies in a forward facing fan shaped area with a damage factor of 2500 so very powerful there that's literally the same rage requirement and damage factor of edward except this is aoe like what that is actually it, it, it it's actually embarrassing for edward because this is just infinitely better than his skill so crazy stuff there his second skill says troops led by this commander gain 20 percent increased march speed and 10 percent increased attack plus an additional 30 percent attack when attacking troops so this is an interesting skill we've never really seen anything like this before at least from what i can remember flat 10 percent attack that's nice the other 30 percent attack so total of 40 percent increase in attack it looks like this won't be applying if you're running away for example and other armies are hitting you you're not attacking anything you're just escaping you don't get this attack buff but as long as you're actively hitting them back you should be getting that full 40 percent buff uh 10 and 30 so that's nice there but very odd i don't see like this doesn't seem broken to me like why would they hide this behind a specific condition being met it, i don't know like 40 percent attack is that really is that really like game, game breaking for a legendary i don't think so um they could have just made it flat 40 and i think that would have been fine but what do i know let's take a look at the third skill it says troops led by this commander take five percent reduced damage okay an active skill cast will cause the target to suffer damage over time damage factor 250 percent reduced march speed for two seconds this can trigger at most once every five seconds now again i don't know if this means when your active skill is cast or if the enemy's active skill is cast is it going to be when the primary skill is cast for the primary commander or is it going to be for both primary and secondary commander that all has to be tested however if it's the case that it that this triggers when the enemy casts an active skill it's going to be really interesting to see how this pairs up with suleiman's expertise right because at, at, from what it appears to be the case is as they're approaching the launching of their active skill they're going to start taking 200 damage factor from suleiman let's assume that they take this damage twice right because they are going to be getting more rage when they're taking that damage so let's say it's 200 damage factor twice then they cast the active skill and then they continue to take 200 damage factor because of the third skill on honda that's crazy right so that's what another two seconds so we're talking about maybe a potential four turns in total where they're taking 200 damage factor that's an extra 800 damage factor that's pretty much guaranteed every skill cycle if you pair these two commanders together right so that's actually really crazy there is a five second cooldown on this but you know because it's bound to 
to the active skill cast. Uh, I guess this that means it will only go off when their primary commander casts the skill, not when the secondary does. However, that's still really good stuff there. So um, again, these two paired together seem like they're gonna be really good. The fourth skill says troops led by this commander gain 10% increased troop capacity. And then this is where there's a little bit of confusion and a little bit of interpretation on my part. Uh, it's what, what we know so far from the leaks is that they will deal up to 5% increased skill damage per 8% unit lost. The skill damage bonus cannot exceed 60%. Now the part that's a little bit up for debate here, and this is very gray area, could be completely wrong. So again, grain of salt, this is a leak. What we know is that um, when you have two or more different unit types, uh, the 1% here changes to 5% here, but we don't actually know how this part of the skill scales. So if it scales by the same metric, right? So this being one through five, and this one starting at five, then it could be assumed that it would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 tops, right? But again, that is speculation using just strictly logical reasoning. There's no evidence to support that until better leaks come out or until these kind of just come out and we find out. Um, but again, this is going to be capped at 60 regardless. So up to 60% increase in skill damage on top of the skill damage that you will be getting from Suleiman when you take skill damage is actually insane. So basically if you're rallying with a Honda primary Suleiman secondary, the farther along that rally becomes, meaning as you lose a ton of your troops, the more and more skill damage these this combination is going to be pumping out and um yeah this commander is dealing insane amounts of skill damage as well so if you can you imagine if this commander has a total of 110 percent increase in skill damage and you're standing next to that flag and you get hit by this aoe my god that is going to be insane insane amounts of aoe damage from this rally uh so i i'm really interested to see how this performs Finally, let's take a look at the expertise. It says troops led by this commander take 30% reduced damage from normal attacks on the map. This effect can trigger up to 57 times per hour after leaving your city. This is very odd to me. I don't know why it would be this specific, like why 57 times? I really, I have no idea. I also don't know if this applies in, you know, in a, let's say in a rally scenario, the enemy is not on the map. They're in a stronghold. So you would be taking normal attack damage from the enemy within a stronghold while you will be on the map. So does this mean that it only, that this triggers while your rally is on the map? Obviously, where else is it going to be? Or does it only trigger um, when you take normal attack damage while both you and the enemy are on the map? Again, this is one of the problems we have with leaks. Uh, the, the, the translations are never perfect. It's never that great. So we don't know how this is going to actually work. And we don't know like 57. Why? What, what, what is the, what is the logic behind this portion of the skill? Obviously, you know, they would want there to be some sort of cap. Uh, to this because I mean taking 30% reduced damage on attacks if that was just a flat thing forever that would be insane so having some sort of, of cap here is important I just think there's there obviously needs to be a lot of clarification as to you know what is the specifics around the conditions required for this to pop off now it did mention that you know if you pair these two commanders together you may want to have Honda as primary just because his active skill is gonna fire off later than the enemies typically and also the second reason is because his primary primary skill actually deals less damage if he's the secondary. So this is similar to what we see with commanders like Guan Yu, where you just basically need this commander to be primary to deal that extra damage. However, from a rally perspective, I feel like the attack and conquering trees are just better, right? They are just better for rallies. So it, who knows, you know, maybe it would be better off having the having Suleiman the, as the primary here. It's hard to say. I mean, this is so much skill damage for being primary, right? And there's just, there's all those benefits of, of hitting second. But again, these are leaks. This could be completely untrue, just like the first set of leaks. If that's the case, of course, I will take this video down or I'll update it in some other video or whatever the case might be. But also in the comments, let me know your thoughts here on Honda Tadakatsu. Now, again, I do want to remind you guys, second channel link will be in the description. There's no content over there just yet, but I will at this point be using it just as a backup in case anything happens to this channel. And with that being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that we upload a more leaked content for Rise of Kingdoms. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon.
Peace.